today we're going to be quilting up our willow block and this is a little bit fussy it's only three different designs but um they take a little bit to get through but that texture is creating let me show you the back so yummy all right so i always like to start on here but you may want to start here it just depends on your preference but i always start in the corner so what we're doing is we're going to make the loopy lines right here then we will echo on one side, echo on the opposite side and get back. And then you start in here and you go down, go over here, go down, go back over here, go down. And then that repeats all the way around. When you get to the center, it's got a little orange peel. Let me show you what it looks like on paper. Sometimes you can see it a little bit better. So here's our loopies. Um, and then, like I said, you start in this corner and then you make your little uh, easy S's all the way down to the point we're going to make these little arcs just to fill in that space then we'll come back over here we'll go straight down following this ditch we'll come over here to this corner and then we'll do uh, the lazy s's in the opposite direction that we did on this first one then we're going to repeat that end up back over here and then we're going to do the lazy s's in the same direction as the first one we'll do that all the way around and then we'll meet back up in the center and make our little orange peel flower. So let's get to it. We're gonna start our first design and that is gonna be our loopy line. So I'm gonna pull my thread up. Uh, if you need this starter video, then you can go back and look at one of the um, other quilt it videos and it'll show you how to get started on free motion quilting. But let's just start our line and what we're gonna do is we're going from here all the way to here and we're just gonna make a, a, a wavy line that has a little, that has a few loops in it. So, start, loop, loop in the opposite direction, one more loop, and finish. So it doesn't have to be perfectly consistent or measured across, just kind of make it a little bit uh, random that way if you mess up it doesn't show as much <laughs> okay so and then now we're just going to go and echo around it back to that opposite side all right and now i will do the same thing to come all the way back on the op opposite side So there is our first design. Um, let's use this ditch right here to travel to this strawberry strip. All right, I'm gonna stop right there at that corner. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these S's. You can see I've already done them right here. And we want these S S's to go in a specific direction. So we're gonna start at the bottom and they're gonna end up here. And it's just a slight S. So just like that. And then let's go ahead and fill in this corner while we're here. All right, and then follow the ditch. And then I like to keep them around a quarter inch, a little bit bigger than a quarter inch, but not too much. And I'm not very good at getting them consistent, but it, it tends not to matter in the overall look. Like even, even inconsistent, imperfect lines end up looking really good on this one. All right, remember to, we're following this line of peaches, I mean, this line of strawberries. So I'm not gonna, you know, get over here in this background space. So I'm gonna follow this diagonal line and then just continue to do my S's all the way to the end. All right, when I get to the point of the stri strip, I'm gonna make a little arc. And then I'm gonna go right back so that my arc is looking like that. I'm gonna get out off the top and then come around here to this other side and then I'll I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my arc right here. And 
then I'm because I can I can only do these S's in one way I'm gonna go ahead and follow this ditch this way so when you get back just you want to follow the ditch line right over this way and then we're going to do these in the mirror image. So this will be like. That. Ooh, got off my ditch a little bit. And then we're gonna come out the top and go back up here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my arc. I'm gonna follow this ditch, ditch line all the way back. And you can see how it looks uh, when they when they when you put them together. Even even though you can tell that mine aren't exactly perfect mirror images, it still looks pretty good. And now we're going to do th this strip the same way we did this one. Like that. Fill in that corner. And then off we go. You can tell I need to get, I need to work at this design and get a little bit better, but it's a start and I think it looks great. All right, so we're gonna move to get right here. Pivot and get back in the center and we're gonna do our loopy loop line right here again. Come back and echo it. and then echo it on the opposite side. Okay. I'm gonna come over here and follow this ditch line. You could have cut your thread and then picked it up and brought it over here if you wanted to. That's just a personal preference. And then we start our S's. So I've done these three, and now I'm just working my way all the way around the block. And then here's where we do our loopy lines again. So I'm gonna get my loopy line done here. I'm gonna finish these three, and then I'm gonna meet you back in the middle right here. All right, so I finished all the strips, but we still got the center part. So I made my little arc right here, and then I'm gonna get back over here on this stitch line. And then I'm gonna follow it all the way back to the center. All right. Now for the center, we're starting in the corner. Let me get all the way in the corner. And then we're gonna make a little arc right here to the middle, and then when you get to the middle, you wanna make an arc to this corner, but you're gonna put that arc in the opposite direction. And then we're gonna go back the way we came, but the arc, arcing in the opposite direction. Meet in the middle. All right. We're gonna follow this ditch to the opposite side here. And then we're gonna do to the middle and then to the opposite. And then we're gonna go back the back arc in the opposite way. 
my center is off, but that's okay. And then we will um, echo around. And then depending how big you made those little orange pills, how many echoes you can do around, but I think that's gonna be enough for me. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna make a few stitches right beside each other and then I'm gonna be done.